Hi everybody, Tom Cahill from Cahill Solutions. I'd like to talk to you today about iDrive Cloud Backup and how I like to get that set up. Um, I recommend iDrive to most of my clients because the price is great, uh, it's very fast, very reliable. You can install it on network attached storage devices like a Synology device and it's just, it's a great easy way to get peace of mind for, for another level of backup. So there's a couple things that out of the box or however you want to call it, uh, need to be tweaked or, or set up properly, uh, at least for me. So I just want to walk you through what I do there. And uh, maybe you're a client that I've directed to this video. Maybe you've searched it because you're trying to figure out more about iDrive, whatever the case, hopefully this will help you. And, um, I would appreciate you, uh, clicking like and subscribe if it does. So, Assuming that we've already registered our account, you've probably already downloaded it as well. But just in case, um, I'm going to walk you through that here. So we're we're downloading it, and there we go. Yes, you know, for the most people, you just accept that uh, standard install location, and bam. Okay, <clears throat> so that was pretty quick, pretty easy. We're just wrapping stuff up here. You can see down at the bottom here, you know, you get the little iDrive tray, and then you go ahead and log in. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> so there you go. So log in for the first time. Because I already have backup set up, I already have my account set up, it's asking me, is this a new device that I want to add or am I replacing an existing device? So in, you may not get this prompt uh, unless you've already set up another device, but we're going to go ahead and say add new device, say finish, and there we go. So by default, it is going to select these common directories that, that most people would want to back up, music, desktop documents. Um, in this case, it's the root of my OneDrive folder. And if that isn't adequate, I can go ahead and add specific folders. Um, whatever, you know, whatever it is. Like I've got a, my backups folder, for example. <clears throat> Maybe I'm backing up code that I've written or something like that. Whatever it is, I can go in and go through and make sure that the data that I want to get backed up is selected and will be backed up. For now, we're just going to leave it like that. And assuming that, you know, like most people, all of your data is in your documents folder, your pictures, it's on your desktop. This is this is great. So the settings I like to go in and change or confirm. The first thing is you click on settings here and you want to make sure that continuous data protection is on and, you know, in real time. So what that does is it monitors your files. Anytime you change a file, it's going to register that that file has been changed and back it up, you know, almost instantly. Um, you you can go through all of the settings, of course. You know, you want to make sure that your, your backup set's being verified, that there's no problems or anything like that. And just kind of make sure all of this makes sense for you. And if it does, great. Save settings. If not, tweak it as necessary. Of course, you could always reach out to Cahill Solutions for some help or questions and uh, go from there. The other thing that I like to make sure that my clients do is schedule a backup as well. Um, so when you click on schedule, I said, sorry, my apologies. I'm going to go back here. So this is this is your default backup set. This is this is what it is created for you. Um, you know, we want to make sure that we're backing up to our, our our iDrive account. You can also do local backups and stuff with this, and uh, I'll do another video about that at, at some time. But for now, we're focusing on the cloud backup. So from here, you would just click on schedule, and by default, you know it's going to take some random time. <laughs> um, select every day of the week and you get to kind of say, okay, well, you know what? I actually don't want it at 10.30 p.m. And for a lot of people, especially my business clients, that's probably fine. But what if we were to do 1 a.m.? 
apparently I don't know how to click. There we go, 1 a.m. Um, make sure that that's there. Have it set for notification. You can either always have a notification emailed to you or just on failure. Also notify me on the desktop. And I also like to start the missed backup schedule when the computer is turned on, just in case um, you you know you, your computer gets shut down or there's a power failure and it doesn't come back on or whatever. Like you just want to make sure that these backups happen as much as possible. And if one is missed, it gets done as quickly as possible. And then you would just hit save changes. So every day at 1 a.m. now, this is going to do a backup. Now, what's the difference between a continuous backup and a scheduled backup? Continuous backup does files up to 500 megs. And if you click here, you oh, click here, you can see that. Sorry, continuous data protection feature. It, it backs up files that are less than 500 megabytes. And for most people, that's great. Most people aren't working on files larger than that, but from time to time, you might be. And that's where the scheduled backup comes into play because it's gonna run every day, in this case at 1 a.m., it's gonna pick up all the files that the continuous backup didn't pick up. And it's just that extra level of reassurance and security to know that your files are backed up. Um, and that's it. That that's basically what you would do. Um, uh, I would say yes. Don't do that. But down here is your little iDrive tray, and you can start iDrive. You can go to the web. You can like have a look at your cloud drive. Check out your schedule. It, this needs to be running for your your scheduled backup to take place uh, and your continuous backup. So never quit that unless you know there's a specific reason to do that. But that's that's the quickest way. Once you've got your backup going, you want to check on it. You know, just start iDrive from there. There we go. <laughs> um, you know, you can get into all of these settings, check all of that stuff out. If you set up your iDrive client the way that I showed in this video, after your nightly backup, you're going to get a notification like this on your desktop. It's going to show you how many files are considered for backup, how many are already backed up, and new files that were backed up in that nightly backup. In my case, there's zero. And in most of the time, most of the cases, it's going to be zero because you've got that continuous data protection running in the background and you don't have to worry. It's, it's taking care of probably 99% of the stuff that you're doing. But those larger files, especially if you, you know, if you're editing videos or, or doing something like that, working in AutoCAD and getting large files from that, whatever it is, this is going to make sure that absolutely everything is backed up that you've chosen to have in your backup set. So it's a really great feature. Um, it's really great that you know right away, every morning when you log into your computer, you're going to see, great, that backup worked. If there is any issues, you're going to get an email because we already had that set up for on failures. You're going to get an email and then we can dig into that more. But this just kind of lets you know, great, it ran, it backed up X amount of files and I'm protected. Everything's great. And uh, another feature that, that I like to talk to people about um, and I'll probably do a, a whole other video on that is this cloud drive option. So with your iDrive subscription, you get a cloud drive for syncing files, just like you know your your OneDrive or your Google Drive or your iCloud. Um, and the nice thing about this is it matches the um, the capacity that you've signed up for for your cloud backup. So I'm on the five terabyte plan. That means I have five terabytes of cloud drive storage with iCloud that I can go ahead and use like iDrive if I want and, and have access to that on all of my devices. Um, it's all included in that yearly price and it's just awesome. Like it's it's really, really cool. The other thing that, that's nice is you've also got this clone slash computer backup feature. And again, I'll likely do another video just on this, but it gives you the ability to do an entire machine backup, which highly recommend you always want to have something like that just in case um, or a disk clone which is nice because if you're upgrading your hard drive um, to an SSD for example or you're going to a larger drive or something like that 
you don't always want to start from scratch. Cloning your drive is, is very useful and, and very often the right thing to do. And it gives you that functionality right within this little uh, backup app. So that's pretty cool. So that's it. That's that's this video. It's the first video on my channel. I, I hope that you, you like it and you uh, bear with me as I get a little bit better at this. If you have any questions, please reach out. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description to that's my partner referral link for iDrive. And uh, if you if you want to go ahead and sign up, that would be great. I appreciate it. I get a little bit of a kickback for that. But there also there's a promotion on right now where um, if you sign up through a partner referral link like mine, you get 90% off your first year. So that means you can get a five terabyte yearly backup plan for about eight dollars US, which is awesome. So go ahead and click that link. I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe. And uh, if you have any feedback or whatever, please feel free to, to leave me a comment. You can ask questions in the comment as well. And I'll try to get those as soon as possible. And uh, you can go from there. So thanks for watching.